Hey, what's going on everybody? Beast I'm out here and I'm doing a commentary for Halo 4. So I just picked up the game not too long ago. And uh I would have got it earlier today, but um, you know, I had some troubles getting it, you know, not a big deal. Uh you know, I, I let's just say I woke up late <laughs> because I was I guess staying up a little bit later than I usually do and uh, just kinda watching some gameplay of it and just trying to kinda see how the game's gonna be like and uh, so I got the game and the servers are kind of acting weird, I'm assuming, because so many people, you know, have been getting on this game recently today. And, uh, I guess for the 12 uh, a.m., you know, midnight release. So, the thing is, here's my opinion about this game. It's really good. I really like it so far, what I've played of it. I've only got to play one match, but, uh, my first experience of it, you know, this is my first match. I didn't get to play anymore because, like I said, the servers are having some trouble. And, uh, you know... Uh, getting, getting used to this game is a lot different. It's a little bit of a different learning curve. And um, I guess you can say it plays really similar to Halo 3. At least the way I feel it plays really similar. Um, and I guess like a little bit of Halo Reach mixed in. Obviously because you have a, a few new, I guess, abilities. Um, I know for sure you have Sprint, but it starts off with Sprint. I'm not, you know, like I said, I'm still learning everything that you can do with it. I only got to play one match, so... Obviously, I don't know all the stuff that you can get in this game, and that's really clear, but, you know, it's, um, so, you know, anyways, I realized that they brought the BR back from Halo 3, and that's great because that was one of my favorite weapons to use in Halo 3, uh, you know, I'd say this before, that was one of my most played games back in 2007 and around that general year, and, uh, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a really solid weapon, it's really reliable. And they also seem like they uh, brought the regular assault rifle back. They maybe have changed some traits. And the good thing about this is, you know, I mean, I, I've always liked uh, the, the assault rifle was a pretty solid weapon. You know, it's automatic. It's pretty solid. It's a great medium to close range weapon. But uh, I went to stick with a BR. And, uh, you know, you'll see me occasionally pick up the assault rifle off the ground. But I always stuck with the battle rifle because, man, that weapon was just, uh, it was really good. It was. It's a really reliable, solid gun. It's great for getting, you know, upper body shots and, you know, you always want to try and aim for the head to get that headshot because it just drops them really quick. And uh, another gun you'll probably see me pick up later on in this game too is the designated marksman rifle or the DMR. I just call it the DMR. But uh, that that weapon in this game, it seems like they changed it. It seems as if it's um, it's a little bit better. Uh, I'm glad it's not the only weapon you know that used to be, I guess, similar to the battle rifle. Uh, you know, from Halo Reach because in Halo Reach, the only weapon that was similar to the battle rifle was the DMR and that kind of made me a little bit sad. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the DMR a lot. It's just the, uh, it feels more like Halo when you're using the battle rifle. And, uh, man, that, <laughs> you know, I've stated this a lot. It's fun to use. You'll see me here, that's pretty much all I use. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm still getting used to the controls here. You see me, uh, me and him trying to out melee each other. And, you know, that's fine. I'm really glad they made the thing where you both can die. I mean, if they didn't do that, that would kind of get frustrating because only one person would win every time. But, uh, you know, I mean, hey, it happens, you know, and uh, it just makes it more balanced, and a lot of people complain about it, but you gotta think, would you rather just one of you to win every time, or would you rather you both die, so that way you each get a kill, and, you know, each get a death, and, uh, you know, that's just another thing that they did really good in this, I mean, they did a great job, so, I guess moving on to uh, the way the game feels and looks, it feels really like it, and there's not much of a learning curve, I mean, if you had played Halo before, you'll definitely be able to play this game, without much struggle because um, this is the first match I'd played in Halo within about a year. So you can kind of see how the learning curve is not that difficult. I mean, like in this game, I get a pretty good score, at least for my first match playing a brand new Halo game. I mean, you know, I don't know what the uh, what's considered a good score in Halo these days. Uh, it's not, you know, like I said, I was not necessarily a strictly Call of Duty player, but uh, I play Call of Duty quite a bit. And um, so like I said, I haven't been... Uh, I don't know what all's the required good score in Halo, but uh, it's a pretty solid score, and I hope you really enjoy the gameplay. I mean, like I said, there'll be more to come, um, like I said, whenever I get to play when the servers are actually up. Um, another thing you may have seen in the video, you get hit markers, apparently, which is really useful because they've also been upgrading a lot with Halo, especially Halo 4, because now you can see, along with hit markers, you know, you can tell where you're getting shot from, which I'm not sure if the previous Halos did that, but I also noticed that. Um, you get your camos and your guns, which is really cool. Uh, you get to customize your class a little bit more than you used to in Halo Reach. Like, I don't even think you could really customize them in Halo Reach that much. You could just kind of pick from a certain amount of weapons to use. And, you know, it wasn't really that much customization into it, but now you can get 
as far as I know, camos on your uh, people, and along with your Spartans, I think they can get camo now too, which is really awesome. I mean, it's just those little things that make the game so fun and enjoyable to play, and it's really cool. But uh, you know, that's enough with the I guess the aesthetics part of it. You know, the visuals and all that. The sounds are really cool. Uh, each weapon they've really upgraded their sound system, and uh, they they made it really uh, sound really cool. I mean, you know, I mean that's pretty much all I can say. I mean, nothing sounds so far annoying or bad. Uh, you know, everything sounds like, uh, it doesn't seem like it was, um, they worked really hard on the sound system, you could tell in this game. When you play this game, you could tell the developers took so much time to, uh, I guess, listen to their fans, and, you know, what all they really wanted to do, and they made a great job. I mean, they did a really great job, especially being a brand new company, the not even being Bungie. It's 343 Industries, most of you know this, but I uh, just thought I'd let you know that as well. They did a great job. I mean, seeing as they have never made a Halo, as far as I know. Um, I do believe they were with Bungie throughout all the years, like of them making Halo. So I guess they kind of get a pretty good general idea of how they, uh, the mechanics of the you know game works and how to program it. But <laughs> they still did a great job. So I mean, thumbs up to them. You know, uh, definitely not expected. I didn't expect this game to be bad. I expected it to still be a great game, but not this good. I mean, it's so fun. And uh, you know, I mean, um, obviously, if you guys are struggling with Halo, I mean, maybe I can. Uh, give some tips I mean obviously I'm not doing uh, super amazing I mean there's probably other people out there that can give you better tips than me but uh, like I said I can maybe give a few tips or so you know maybe you can watch my game plan learn, you know learn how I play a little bit we'll see you know we'll see in the future those will be future videos maybe you know like I said uh, definitely gonna be more gameplays of this so I mean that's that's awesome I'm gonna be playing this game a lot uh, the thing I'm a little bit sad about is the fact that uh, Black Ops 2 is also right around the corner. So, I mean, I'm going to be kind of, you know, going back and forth playing both of these games because, I mean, let's be honest here. I mean, if you played Halo 4 and, you know, Black Ops 2, which I haven't played Black Ops 2 yet, so I don't know how the game's going to work. But most likely I'll still play it a lot because it is um, a Call of Duty game. And that's just, you know, me. I mean, I like to play Call of Duty games. But, man, uh, you know, <laughs> I usually don't say this, but this may be the best Halo I have ever played. I mean, uh, I know this may make a lot of people a little mad, but so far, I mean, I'm having a fun time playing this. I mean, uh, I haven't really had as much enjoyment of playing Halo since Halo 3. A lot of people can kind of agree with me on that. I mean, Halo 3 and Halo 2 were really the pinnacle of Halo's, uh, I guess, lifetime or whatever. And um, a lot of hardcore Halo fans will, you know, agree with that. I mean, I don't know how many hours and days I clocked into Halo 3, but um, I'd have to say it's probably over 50 days. And when I played that game, I think I started out, I was around like 8 or 9 years old and played it for like 4 years straight probably. Like, I mean, obviously I'd switch back from the Call of Duties and maybe a few other games, but Halo 3 stuck around with me for a long time. And I think this game's going to do a very similar thing. I mean, I think it's going to stick with me for a very long time. Because... It's so new, you know, it's refreshing, and I think it was really a good idea for me to take a break from Halo just all in general for about a year, and that's exactly what I did. Again, don't get me wrong, I didn't hate Reach, it just wasn't necessarily my cup of tea. I mean, it just didn't fit the way I liked to. It just played really different. And this game plays a lot like Halo 3, at least the way I think. I mean, when I play this, the first thing I think is this feels really similar to Halo 3. I mean, it doesn't really feel like Reach that much. I mean, obviously, like I said, you do get your armor abilities. I don't know what all they've added in this game. I've seen some crazy stuff, but uh, I don't know. They did a great job, though. I mean, they made it. <laughs> it feels just like it, man. And uh, I'm still over here trying to figure out the controls. Like, I'm just pressing all kinds of buttons, and you'll see me do that multiple times in this. And it's going to take me a while to get used to it because um, I think Halo 3's controls, I don't exactly remember, but you'll see me melee a lot here. And I think when I do that, I mean to reload. But I believe the right bumper, at least the default setting in Halo 3, was to reload. And I think you'll see me melee quite a bit, like I said, because I'll try and reload. And you'll see me probably get killed because of that as well. But like I said, you know, that's the part of learning. I mean, sometimes you just got to remember. And uh, this is another cool thing I've seen. This guy, like, puts up some kind of a uh, visual shield. And I think um, I think it's actually probably a pretty balanced armor ability because you see me here. I take the shield out fairly quick and... Uh, I still kill him even though he had a shield up. I mean, I think you just have to pop a few rounds into it, and I think the shield just disintegrates. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, maybe you, maybe some of you can let me know in the comments. Uh, feel free to let me know uh, anything about, like I said, that you know about Halo 4. That's great. You know, I mean, like, uh, any information is awesome, and I really would appreciate it. But, uh, 
you know, that's another armor ability I saw. Um, I think later on, or maybe earlier on in this video, I see another crazy uh, armor ability where this guy goes like flying with it. Look, like I don't know what he was using, and it made some weird sound. And I, I wish you could have heard the way I was uh, reacting to that. I was like, "What is that?" And it was just crazy. Like uh, they've had so much cool stuff in this game, and I'm just really excited. And I hope you guys, uh, you know, think about really picking up a copy of this game because it it's worth the purchase. It really is. Anything you pay for it, it's well worth it. Unless, of course, you're like some of the people that are uh, getting trying to get Black Ops 2 a few days before the release and you're paying about $200 to $300. That's probably not that worth it because, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave some comments down below. I'll see you later.